everyone, welcome to one more All About You program. And in this week's program, we are going to talk with you about one word. One word that can cause a big impact in our life, that can revolutionize, that can change everything, that can be a turnaround after you put in practice this word. And this word is decision. You know that... Uh, Many people, they struggle with their past or they are struggling in their love life or in their finances. It can be in any area of their lives. And maybe they still are struggling because they are lacking to take a decision or they forgot the decision they already took and they start wavering between two thoughts when before they, they took a decision. And when I'm talking about this, I can uh, relate this especially to our spiritual life. You see that uh, when we come to church for the first time, when we come to God, all of us, we had to take the decision to give our lives to God, to let go of the past, to say no to the wrong things. But after a while, it seems that all those things that you already decided to let go, it seems that those things are coming back to you. From time to time, your past comes back to you. From time to time, the things that you, you used to do that you know it was wrong, it comes back to you. And uh, it seems that you are trapped. You don't see a way out. You don't know what to do. I talk with many people that they say they are seeking the, the baptism with the Holy Spirit, but they say that their past keeps coming back in their mind and they don't know what to do. And I was thinking, what is missing? What do they need to do to get out of this, this situation? And this word came in my mind, decision. Either you have to decide or you have to remember the decision you took already. You have to remind yourself, you have to remind the devil that you took already the decision to give your life to God. And the devil, who is he to point his fingers at you and to accuse you if you already took the decision of give your life, giving your life to God? Or if you didn't take the decision yet, it's time for you to take a decision. And pay attention, once you took this decision, and if you know that you are living a life uh, of God, you are doing things right, who is he to accuse you? Who is he to bring your past in your mind if you already took your decision? So we can never forget this word. I was thinking about that. We can never forget this word, the decision. To tell God, my God, I already made my decision. I want a life with you. So I choose not, I decide not to listen to the devil anymore. You see that you are taking the decision not to listen to the devil. And you are also reminding God and reminding the devil about the decision you took maybe years ago. Or maybe last month. So this word is very powerful. And when you, we put this word into action in our lives, we see the results. It's the same as well. It's like for you to see, for us to bring this word in other areas of our lives, we can relate to love life. An example, you like someone, but God already showed you that that person is not for you. God already showed you signs that you have to let go of that feeling. But you keep saying, I don't know, I, I, I can't let go of this feeling, it's so hard, it's so hard. The truth is, it's not hard, the truth is you didn't decide yet to let go. You, you don't want it, that's why it seems so hard to let go of these feelings, to let go of this relationship. Because you didn't decide to let go. You are still holding on to it. And 
until you take the decision, it will be hard. So the best thing is to be sincere with yourself and say, yes, that's true, I don't want to let go. And you know when you, you show that you don't want, you keep thinking about this person. Or you, you want to make sure that you are in the same place, in the same environment that that, that, that person is. But when you decide to forget, when you decide to let go, what do you do? If that person comes in your mind, you change. You have the remote control of your mind. You change the channel. If that person is in that environment, you will try not to be in the same environment that that person is. This you are showing that you don't want that feeling anymore. You don't want that relationship anymore. And God is faithful because God, he will see that you are doing your part and he is going to do his part. But how God is going to do his part if you are not doing your part, if you didn't take the decision yet? And this comes to all areas. I spoke about the spiritual life. I spoke about the love life. But we can bring it to the finances. If you are struggling your finances. but And then you say you don't know what to do. But you keep spending. You keep buying. You keep using your credit card. How you are going to succeed if, you're not, if you don't decide to organize things, if you don't decide to, to say to yourself, wait a minute, this is not right, let me uh, do something about it. So you see, the power of the decision, when we take a decision in our lives, we see the fruits of that, that, that choice, of that decision. So if you are struggling with anything in your life, I ask you right now, stop and think, see which decision you are lacking to make in that area. Stop and ask yourself, be sincere to yourself and take a decision to change. Take a decision to say, I don't want to be like this anymore. I, I, it, this is not what I want for me anymore. And you are going to see that... Uh, you will start moving forward. You will no longer feel stuck. You will no longer feel trapped in this situation. God will guide you because of the decision you took. For every change we want to happen in our lives, we need to make a decision. And this is today's subject, okay? I wanted to share with you because I've been thinking about it and it blessed me so much. And I am sure it will bless you as well. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.